Hi there and welcome back. If you're new, then my name's Tanya and I'm from Tatty Treasures. Welcome. Um, you will find everything in the description. The kits that I've used, the main kit and <clears throat> all the places where I've got bits of uh, ephemera from. You will find all my social media links including uh, the Facebook group where we run uh, monthly uh, challenges and we share um, our work and um, encourage each other <coughs> and inspire each other. Also uh, the moderators from the groups um, also have their own YouTube channels and their links are down below and there's also links on ways to uh, support the channel so and if you're not new then hi <laughs> welcome back thanks for joining me again and spending uh, some of your precious time with me so we're back to working on the faded blue journal so we did these in the last one all I did was um, just rip round some of the kit paper, ink them up and pop them on. Like I say, I would like to put pockets in them, but I'm going to see how uh, the journal uh, chunks chunks up. So for now, we will leave them at that. Quite happy uh, with how they turned out. So I shall put those over there with the journal. So they're done. Right, without further ado, I'm going to light the candle. So I'm still on the rich mahogany. I don't think it will be lasting uh, for much longer. So I will be bringing a new candle in here. And it is January the 12th. Now, I, I really do like this one. And it's very short. To understand all is to forgive all. And I think in most circumstances, when you do understand the full picture you can find, um, you know, forgiveness in most things. Obviously, there's things that, you know, we, we can never forgive. Or, I mean, sometimes we have to forgive just for, for our own uh, peace of of mind um, rather than, you know, the the person or the thing that's... Um, done what whatever but i think most things as as long as you've got a full picture i think you know you can you can forgive i i forgive a lot um so this is the next um envelope that we're going to do now i think i'm going to probably stamp some uh dates and things on on those but i'm not going to do those um today because i'm going to have to get those little peg ones out and things and it's a little bit faffy uh so i'll probably do that uh you know before just before we're putting them in the journal so i've got some pieces ready uh, just to make it a little bit uh more streamlined and I think I'm going to put that. Well, I am. <laughs> There's no think about it. I am. I've made my mind up. I've already made my mind up. Um, because last time uh, the video obviously was was quite quite long, um, and I do, you know, at, at the end of today's video, I want to have finished these um, other two pieces. So tomorrow, we can um, move on. So tomorrow we will put these pieces wherever they're going to go in the journal we'll see how chunky we are then and then i think we're going to probably look at each page um i did say i've got some dodgy sewing um so the other signs are going to want to uh, turning over no they're not going to want turning over they're going to want hiding um, so I think we're going to probably look at um, some side page uh, decoration. Um, so I think that'll be um, next time's video. So at the front, that's that's all I want. I think you know we've got these beautiful uh, pictures which are from a collage type um, kit. I think they're probably from China uh, White kit, or they might not. Um, <clears throat> But yeah, if you look in it, shop, you'll be able to tell tell which kit they've come from. So that's the front. Um, the other front is this, and um, I wanted these rather handsome um, gentlemen, and 
I do think he's very handsome. Um, and I was thinking of perhaps doing something like that. Like that. That's going to want a bit of something behind it and that's going to want something around the whole thing. Um, I had got a bit of a, a bit of a stamp. Don't know if to put that, you know, like that. And I might just rummage through um, my Tim Holtz ephemera and just put, you know, something else tiny uh, down there. So, let's um, start by inking these pieces. So, I don't want to ink the stamps because I just want to keep those, you know, at the original um, aging and what have you that they are around this I always love I've gone back to vintage photo I really love vintage photo uh, with with the blues especially uh, this kind of blue um, I'm not sure what this kind of blue is but obviously you know it's more of an icy uh, blue but it's got it's not that cold icy it's um, I think it's like a vintage vintage icy <laughs> it's got some some warmth um to it so yeah i do really like um <clears throat> that this color so that's gonna go like so i really don't want to keep saying so i've just become really aware that it's it seems to be um the word of the day I'm not going to speak then am I <laughs> it's quite clear now I've said that that I'm just not going to speak and then I won't say it right I'm going to pop pop that there I think um I've got this bit of grunginess this might be be nice. In fact, that might be nicer than than that. I don't know. I'm thinking I probably want some it down that side because obviously this side it's in the envelope. Oh yeah, I like that. Let's do that. Avoiding the word so, <laughs> it was it was at the top of my head. I had to uh, I had to avert <laughs> avert myself. <laughs> I think we must all say things a lot of the time, and I think until we catch that. Oh, I said that a second ago, and I'm still saying it. Um, I think then it you know it only becomes um apparent, but um. Yeah, I'm going to say, like, these things, you know, when I'm speaking to Ryan and that, what he'll always say and... Yeah. It's quite irritating, really. <laughs> but I just don't think you're aware of it yourself. Um, but, I mean, you need certain words to, you know, either and, so, to, to join things um, together. Um, otherwise, it'd all be be a little bit random i suppose it's like putting a comma or um a full stop um at something but because we're speaking um i think that's what it kind of signals um yeah oh we do a lot of um um because again it's like that uh stopping stopping and starting hey i'm quite happy happy with that i'm gonna put some fabric tack on the back of that uh, and I'm going to put fabric tack uh, on on that because it's glassy and I do think it might I don't know I might put fabric tack in the middle and put our glitter on around the side so that will go there we'll have that there in fact I'm just gonna 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 stick that on ready and then like I say I'm gonna get me Tim Holtz tin out. So let's see what we can do with um, this handsome, handsome man. 
Mm. Yes, it's very nice. What a shop about him, then, now. <laughs> oh my goodness, I thought he was embarrassed. <laughs> you keep going on about him. Oh dear, I think I've got my silly head on. <laughs> I don't know why. It just suddenly, it just suddenly happens. It's it's strange. I do quite like it when when it does happen. I think you've got it. You've got to embrace it, haven't you? Go with it. If it's um, feeling silly, then then be silly. I think. Um, I I mean, speaking for me as as a mum, um, and I've been a mum. You know, my oldest daughter's. 30 now so I've been a mum for you know quite a long time and I think <laughs> I mean obviously different people's houses and um things uh you know we all live different different lives um and stuff but um I've always been the um the more authoritative uh person I always think um dads should be pretty fun um, especially because I've had girls, you know, and that might be uh, another thing. So I don't think I'd probably be as good discipline uh, a boy. And I don't think for me, um, I've never wanted um, particularly um, a male to discipline girls. Um, if it's something serious, then it is a dad issue. But I think from day to day, I'm kind of... So I I do spend a lot of time being um, on everybody's case. Um, obviously not so much my... Well, not at all my oldest girls now because they don't live here. And I've got no, no right to be on their case because they live their own lives. Um... So yeah, um, and and I have got a silly uh, form personality, but I think it it, it kind of gets a bit washed washed out of you. Um, so yeah, I think now when when the silly comes, I'm just embracing it because uh, why not? And I think now Eleanor's fourteen, and obviously, I mean, well, fourteen's a a tricky age. From fourteen now to till eighteen's a a tricky age. But, um, you know, I don't have to do so much for it and things like that. So I think you get a bit of time back and energy back and and things. So, um, I think, you know, because I'm not, um, you know, dressing her and <laughs> things like that. I'm not having to pick up on um, a every little little thing because you know she's developing herself. I'm probably making a right ash of trying to explain um, what I mean. So I just feel now I can be a bit more um, myself, and I've only got to be, you know, mum mum when um, mum mum is is needed, which is still very very regular, but. But yeah, it, it gives me a bit more time to be be a bit more uh, fun. And um, yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. So I'm going to stick those there. They came together pretty quick, didn't they, as I've just been waffling along. I'm going to look at the clock and it's actually 20 odd minutes are going to have passed. And I'll be like, mm, no, that didn't go quick, did it? It was just that <laughs> you just absolutely waffled. Um, absolute rubbishness. Right, so that's those. I hope I've stuck them on properly because I've not really uh, paid attention. I know I did say that I was art glittering um, them, which I obviously didn't around the edge. Um, I can always poke my um, little nib in um, after. Obviously, before I put them in, I, I shall look them, look them over, up and down. I shall look them up and down. <laughs> Right, that's um I just want something really quite tiny. It's funny when you're looking for something tiny, and um, you can't find anything, can you? That'd be a good tiny. That would be a good tiny. Ooh, you know what? I 
really like that. I do. Oh yes, I do. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit too big. No, I couldn't see his face. Yeah, I'm liking that. That's um, masculinity, and and then uh, the <coughs> the the feminine. Um, I really do do like that. Yeah, I'm liking that. Juice, the same. That's a little letter there. <laughs> oh, I like that. That's cute. Right now, we need something either round or it's a bit too samey, isn't it? Oh. Yes, and then I'm going to pop that somewhere. Yeah, I like it. I'll keep that out. Okay, so what are we putting down first? Probably uh, this bit. Um, ink. I'll just use what I've got on me. Dobber. I think this is the wrong dobber. I think I've been... I started using the uh, vintage fonts over the the blue that I'd been using. Oh, well, at least it wasn't the other way around. But I must remember when I go to use the the blue that I need a new a new sponge, well, a clean sponge. Okay, I'm not going to ink those because um they've got that grey background, um and I do you know want to have bits of grey in this journal. I think the blues, greys and beiges were very nice. That's that. I'm just going to pop that in that. Okay, I can see that that stamp's not way down, so I put that down. Yeah. Okay, yes, I like it. So we've done both sides, we've obviously got the, the middle bit. So with this, I'm going to pop that in. myself out now silly, <laughs> sillied myself out <laughs> yeah I may be silly but I, I, I can't maintain it <laughs> it's not got the energy <laughs> right sorry if you can't see but um, I'm having to put it quite close to my face do I keep dropping that glue every single time I've finished with it? Is it me or is it the glue? It is getting pretty empty, so I'm thinking maybe because it's lighter that it's um, falling out. So that's what's in the, the background. So yeah, like that. I don't know if I might put a tab, some kind of tab on there, like a circle or something, just to make that a little bit more... Um, stable but I shall do that um, <coughs> when I put it in right I think on this side I was just going to have um, 
a butterfly and that's it let's um get some more ink I've cut these out from a from a book. Um, <clears throat> all the books that I've ever had and cut out uh, are on my Amazon favourites under books I use. So if you're, you know, curious about what books I do use to cut things out, and also I have got a playlist which is called uh, Lazy Sunday uh, Book Flip Through, which I have. Uh, Done, done a flip through of, of a lot of the books, not not of all the books. If you're interested, because if you buy a lot of your books like me online, sometimes it can be you know a bit of a, a gamble, and um, because you you know you might have seen one or two images from from a book that somebody's used, and then you buy the book and. Actually, there's only about four images in the whole book. I mean, the amount of times that, that I've done things like that. But, you know, it's... And then other times I've, you know, took potluck and I've then picked up some wonderful books. And you're like, oh, I'm so glad um, I did. I'm going to have that going that away. Right, so that's that. Then on this side, just got these uh, florals. Um, well, these are from um, a fussy kit, a fussy, <laughs> a fussy cook kit um, from Nanine at Collage Type, and it's her botanical uh, one. Because I did ask her if she would do me. Um, some of just just greens and and whites. Um, if you go in books and that, uh, uh, there's not a lot of um, greens and and whites. So there's a couple of pages in in that, and then I print it. Um, you know, different sizes. So even though I've only got a couple of pages of images, I've actually got quite a lot of images because I've got them all different uh, sizes which um, does pan things out then I don't know if that's a expression that um, non-UK people use but uh, we use it as um, a term of spreading spreading things out see how it pans out see what happens it's a bit you know it's quite a loose a loose word i think we've got a, a lot of words like that that um we use the same word for for different things but it's possibly just in the context of what we're speaking about that will make them into different things if that that makes sense and obviously i can't think of any examples right about now but <laughs> that's lovely what kind of time are we at? oh yeah we are doing well just goes to show i mean obviously part one of this uh, doing the envelopes. I was obviously going through that box getting everything that I might possibly need and uh, <clears throat> that that does take take a lot of time up but obviously we've you know got to search around and, and get what we think we're gonna gonna use and I think if I've got absolutely everything out like I have done with this uh, one then it I know people like, well I do, like to see you rummaging around but then you don't want to be rummaging around for every single thing that you're finding otherwise it, you don't get anything made, not on camera um, and I know decorating part is, a lot of people do, do like the decorating uh, part you don't always want that how to make stuff do you know the 
actual bare bones of, of things. Um, we do more decorating, I would say, than, um, you know, the, the construction side. So I don't know if I'm feeling like, does it need another butterfly? See, I do quite like that on there. I thought it would be a bit too too much. Um, I've not... Oh, I've got a little butterfly here. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. I'm going to pop it on. So this is uh, number three, isn't it? This is the third one uh, complete. The sticker ones are very good because um, they kind of just blend into the background, don't they? It's, um, yeah, it's the first time I've bought uh, butterfly stickers. I wish I'd have bought a couple of packs, actually, because I think I've never enough used um, the pack. So, that's that. Yeah, like that very very nice okay so i'm gonna pause for a minute um i'm gonna go and make a cup of tea cup of tea and um then we will do uh the last envelope so see you in a tick okie dokie so <laughs> these are uh the final ones of the inserts and i'd earmarked a few things so i think on this front, I was just going to put um, a little birdie on the front. Now, I want to keep this open uh, as, you know, a little bit of a tug. I think decorating this part would be a little bit pointless because this is going to be sewn in. So this is going to be right next to uh, the signature. That saying, um, could definitely have a piece of lace, you know, like uh so so i might stencil uh over that and then put uh just a little bit of of lace i think that'd be nice so let's cut um two of those this is some lovely uh antique lace that i was sent i've nearly um used it all been very very beautiful so that's those so that's going to be stenciled with those pretty flowers then that's going to go there so what else I mean I guess you know what I'm gonna say to me it would look fine um, like that with nothing else Hmm. Maybe I can make a little bit more of of the bird. See, I don't want. It's a bit difficult. Oh, that's all I keep saying, isn't it? <laughs> I don't want, and it's a bit difficult. <laughs> oh dear, you've definitely lost your fun side now. <laughs> it's too difficult. I think that I'd be fine um, there once that's inked ink top that down there is splash of blue behind it maybe a label or something um across the, the top i think these are going to be too too thick shall we just have a have a quick rummage <laughs> so this is what we've already uh, gone through so if we just have a quick look um through here first because obviously I wasn't looking for something uh, thin the first time. Don't think there is. So let's have a <coughs> let's get the um, box back back to us and have a have a look. Now that might be right kind of size. That might be. Oh, that might be. Hmm. <laughs> Now, I am going to need another frame, but I think that's going to be 
too big. Close up. These flowers really didn't uh, do well in the tea stain and obviously they've not done well and then being thrown um, in the box. I should have kept them separate. But you kind of know these things, don't you, as you do them. And I think because I only had, you know, four or five, I just thought, oh, what's, what's the point kind of thing. But obviously there was a point. The point was not ruining them. Hmm. Got lots of things here. I'll tell you what I'm looking for now. A kind of oval or something. <clears throat> what I can put the other uh, birding. Because I quite liked um, the look of that. But all the other ovals seem to have pictures in. That's not to say that I couldn't put something on top of the picture. But as I looked at the pictures, it looked as if... No, I might be able to put a bird on there. Um, <clears throat> they looked a little bit big, the pictures did, that I'd probably... You'd probably then just see a bit, you know, behind it, and it, it would look a little bit odd. But... I'll just clear that out a minute. <clears throat> okay. Let's have a look where we are. So that's... Oh. No, that's a no. Okay. That's too big. They've obviously got flowers on, so, you know, it's going to look, look weird. Mm. Now. Mm. But, I'm wondering. I could, no, it's too big anyway. Too big. You've just been moaning about it being too big. Oh, dear. Right. So, I'm thinking, I really like that. A little bit too big, but I can make it work. I don't really like that. Again, it's a little bit too big, but I'm gonna make it work because I like it. Right, so that's that. Yeah, my thought was I've got an oval punch. It's it's not a very big one, so it's only one and a half inch, so I don't think it's actually gonna be big enough, is that? No. It was an idea, um, but yeah, I really want something. Oh, that actually works better that way. I think. Does it? Am I just fooling myself? could work mm. it's funny how sometimes you just you just go a bit well oh, don't know <laughs> just don't know liking this one better let me have a look in my um normal labels <coughs> something in here sometimes it's hard to get your eye uh, focus you know when there's so so many Size wise, 
even though I've got millions of labels, I feel like I'm ready for actually printing some labels out. Because I want the, the, these kinds of um, labels, not, you know, those kind. Oh, I do like that. I mean, I could poke some of it in there. Now, hold on, because you can't see as much of this flower. So, would it be too bad? No, it just doesn't. I can cut it down. No. I prefer it on there. Oh, I'm just doing it. I'm <laughs> just doing it. And then this one on here. Yeah. Or night. No. Are you fed up with me? I'm fed up with me. Now we've got no, no, I'm doing something else with that. Right. If we're putting anything in there as a tug, it's it can still go in and you've still got all all that. Why not even end up using it as a top? Right, let's just do it. So that's going there. 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 Okay. So they want ink and they want ink and using that and I'm stenciling. Yeah. Okay, okay. Right. I'm going to stencil over the whole thing, apart from the, the glass. And I'm going to use the cornflower blue. So let's uh, take that tab. And no, I don't want to take that tab out because I'll forget which one goes where. Oh, that's lovely. And then... Yeah, that's super duper. Lovely. Right. Whew, I feel exhausted now I'm making all those uh, decisions. I bet you've gone for a lay down. I think like, oh, I can't, can't take this woman anymore today. She's driving me crazy. Right, let's um, ink these up. I think this needs a bit more um, trimming. I'm, I'm not good at doing ables, but... I think most people aren't, are they? In circles. Cutting in general. But yeah, definitely. Ovals and circles, they are challenging. And, um, you know, when you're doing a big sheet of them, it, it gets a bit much, don't it? But um, I do like the oval. I think it's a, a nice, a nice shape. I still missed a load on that. I'm not, I'm not really doing it. Right. So that one's going in there, isn't it? Like that's, this was out of a book. It's nice to find uh, some books where I've got smaller images. I need to get some birds cut out, especially uh, medium ones. Right, so I'm going to just pop that on there for now. So 
So I'm kind of going to do it like that. Yeah. Yeah, that'll be fine. Am I putting anything else behind it? No. Oh, I need to put that lace on first, don't I? Right. <coughs> let's, um, let's just put a little strip down there. And I'll, I could do it right to the top, couldn't I? That I lied. That where it is in, actually. So I'll cut that off when it's dry. Yeah, where's my oval gone? Here it is. Oh, I just had a lovely whiff of that, that candle. So that's going to go in like so. Okay, okay. Oh, that was a bit of, bit of good glue in there. <laughs> right, so that's going to go in like so. It needs to be lifted up a little bit. That's what you get for showing off. Right. Yeah. Lovely. And what are we having at the top of this one? This one, aren't we? Let's um, try and oh, gosh, straighten this. I think this might be a sticker. No, it doesn't. Oh, that didn't quite fit. But, oh, it's okay. It's okay. Oh, I love this brown with that, that um, darker blue. Very, very nice. And I'm going to... that on like so kind of time are we on 42 okay right I'm gonna glue I'm gonna pause I'm gonna glue that on see you in a tick okay so <laughs> finish that side I'm happy with uh, how it's turned out so this side um, I've got some flowers, so I was going to pop that there and that there. What have we got left? No, I'm not keen on that. Oh, it's not that I'm not keen on it. I, don't, I just don't want it there. Right, so I think I'm going to do some collage just down there. I'm not going to do any stamping on this side. I want to keep it <coughs> quite, um, you know, that might just be uh, long enough. Let's, um, let's try and do it half and half. So I'm thinking, oh, that's nice. Once it's inked um, around. I think that just needs to be a little bit thinner actually. I was thinking that the other one would be too thin, but actually that's that's better. So that could go there. Then I'm thinking a little bit of music and I've just got some at the side of me. Sorry if I'm off screen a little bit. Ain't nothing going off. Right, that can go there, that can go there once they're all inked around. Um, what have we got left? We've got a butterfly. Oh, lovely. Butterfly. So that's going to go there. I'm going to do that off screen because 
times ticking so everything's going to be inked stuck down so that's that side let's just have a look in the middle because i've forgotten oh and in the inside i'm just going to line it now i'm not too bothered if these are still open because obviously this is going to be sewn this isn't you know it's not gonna um i'll probably yeah i will cover it okay anyway um so that's what i'm going to do and um yeah, you'll obviously see them properly in the next one as um, I'm putting them in the papers. So, I hope you've enjoyed that. I've really enjoyed it. I'm say time has ticked on. So, I'll get on with that and I'll see you tomorrow. And we'll do another part um, in this faded blue journal. So, see you tomorrow. Bye.